to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to recreate this dark, smoky eye look. This is a take on the classic smoky eye. It's just black all around. I'm just making sure that I'm really blending and then showing you how to create this really dark, smoky look without looking like somebody punched you in the eye. I really do enjoy how this looks on me. I think it's super dramatic and perfect for like clubbing or a special event, a party or something. You can also put your hair up and I feel like that would make it look really glamorous as well. Or you can leave your hair down and then just tease it and make it really big and then you can look even more sultry. I just hope you guys enjoyed this look and if you want to learn how to recreate it, please keep on watching. So the first step is to create some sort of base for our eyeshadow. So I'm just going to use this Pro Long Wear Concealer by MAC and I'm just going to apply this all over my eyelid like so. Then I'm going to use this light peach sort of color and I'm going to use my big blending brush and I'm just going to apply this all over the general area of my crease. This is just going to be our transition color to make sure that everything else blends beautiful. So I'm going to use this darker color called cappuccino and the same blending brush and I'm just going to concentrate this closer to my eyelid just making sure that we're darkening our eye slowly. Then I'm going to use brown script by MAC which is a red brown color and I am in love with this and I'm going to use an E25 by Sigma and I'm going to concentrate this on the outer corners and the inner corners of my eye and just my crease all around. It's just going to darken up and make sure that my black blends really well. So now I'm just going to take that light peach color and uh, this is an E35 I believe from Sigma and I'm just going to blend out the edges of that brown scripts color so that it's not so harsh on my eye. Then I'm going to use Black Track Gel Liner by MAC and the Synthetic Flat Brush by Sigma and I'm going to apply this all over my eyelid. You don't really have to be careful with this, it's just going to be our base for our eye, for our eyeshadow and um, it's just going to make sure that our eye is really black and it doesn't turn out gray as we blend 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 which is the key to any smoky eye. So to set all of this gel liner I'm going to use the darkest black that I own, which is Blackout from my Naked Basics palette. Not my Naked Basics, my Naked 2 palette. And I'm just going to I use this shader brush from Sigma, this is an E55, to set all of that product. Just going to make sure that it doesn't smudge and it doesn't go anywhere. Then I'm going to use a pointier blending brush and I'm going to use a little bit of that black shadow to blend out the edges of the black and to make sure that it becomes nice friends with that brown script color that we have in our crease. This is going to give it a nice gradient effect. Now using that E35 and a little bit of that peach color, I'm going to blend out the edges of the brown script, just making sure that there is no harsh lines. And now I'm going to go back in with the brown script to just re-intensify anything that we might have blended away. And this is just going to intensify my look. Honestly, I just love brown script anywhere on my makeup looks. So now I'm just going to re-intensify some of the black in my crease. And now I'm just going to blend everything with my E40 blending brush. It's just going to make sure that, you know, no harsh lines are happening. So as you can see, I'm not being super duper careful. It doesn't really matter. This is why I do my eyes before my face when I do smoky eyes. Now I'm just reapplying some more of the black closer to my lashes just to make sure that we have enough intensity of the black there. And now I'm going to highlight using my Venus shadow from my Naked Basics palette. I'm going to highlight underneath my brow, on my brow bone, and in my inner corners just to open up my eyes a little bit. Now I'm just going to blend that uh, highlight on my brow bone using my E40 again just to make sure that there is no harsh lines. So now I'm just going to apply some of that Milani Liquify um, liner in my waterline and this is going to make sure that my skin isn't peeking through anywhere. I'm just making sure that I'm smudging that really close to my lashes as well. And now it's time for cleanup. This is my Artistry makeup remover and I love this stuff. I'm going to use this with a Q-tip and this is just going to clean up the outer corners of my eye. The Q-tip is just going to make sure I'm getting like a really sharp line and yep. So now I'm going to use a makeup wipe and remove the rest of the product that may have fallen down on the rest of my face. And yeah, this is why I do my eyes first. So I get a little break, check my phone, drink some water, 
and we're going to move on to the rest of our face. So I'm going to use this Pores No More primer by Dr. Brand that I love. I found this stuff at Marshalls and I'm in love with it. It's, it's great. It diminishes my pores. It helps my skin control its oil. It's just wonderful. So I'm going to apply that all over my problem areas. Then I'm going to use my Dark Circle Eraser by NYX and I'm going to apply this underneath my eyes and now I'm going to use my foundation. I love this stuff. I'm going to use a little bit different today. I'm going to pop it on the back of my hand like so and use my beauty blender to place it on my face. This is just more sanitary, I feel like. It helps my foundation uh, last longer. So now I'm going to use my Artistry uh, eyebrow pencil and this is super similar to Anastasia's Brow Wiz. The difference is this lasts longer and it's cheaper and once you run out, you just buy like the stuff that goes inside it and just cheaper. You don't have to buy the whole thing again. So yeah i'm gonna link my eyebrow tutorial right here for you guys just so you guys can see that because i i cannot fit that into a video so i'm just gonna apply my nars radiant creamy concealer and this stuff is amazing i'm just going to place this underneath my eyes in the triangle motion and i'm just gonna blend it out with my finger first and then use my beauty blender to make sure that everything is nice and perfect I'm also going to apply the concealer down the bridge of my nose in between my eyebrows and my forehead uh, above my cupid's bow and below my mouth and then I'm going to blend it out with my finger then my beauty blender now I'm going to use my NYX finishing powder and my beauty blender and I'm just going to set everywhere that I applied my concealer then I'm going to use this big brush to wipe away any excess powder just to make sure my face doesn't look like a cake. Now I'm going to use my banana powder from my contour kit by Anastasia and a highlighter brush from Sigma and I'm just going to highlight my face and then I'm going to make sure that I'm popping this everywhere where I applied the concealer as well. Now I'm going to bronze up my face using my mineralized skin finish in the shade dark. Make sure you guys check below uh, for any links or information about the products that I do use in the videos. So now I'm going to just bronze my face, my forehead, um, you know, below my cheekbones, stuff like that. Now I'm going to use a smaller brush in that same product and I'm going to define my nose a little bit. This is going to help my nose not disappear in pictures and stuff. Now I'm going to use this shade from my Anastasia Contour Kit just to darken up my contour. And then I'm going to use this light pink blush by Revlon and I'm going to pop that on my cheekbones. And then I'm going to you know, set everything with my NYX mattifying spray. Now I'm going to use my Artistry Volumizing Mascara and I'm just going to pop that on my top lashes for now. And then I'm going to apply some black liner on my lower waterline and retouch my upper waterline just in case we lost any intensity there. And I'm going to make sure that I drag my black liner on my lower lash line. This is just going to you know darken up that area I'm not darkening up my lower area that much my lower lash line just to keep some of that intensity at the top so I'm gonna use that flat brush and that wrap brown script color to apply that on my lower lash line just making sure I'm applying that on top of where I applied the black and I'm blending it out with my E25 again so I did go ahead and apply one falsy and you can see the difference that it makes and I'm just going to apply some of that Artistry Mascara again to blend my natural lashes with the falsies and don't forget your lower lash line. Now I'm going to line my lips using Jordana's Lip Liner in Tawny and this X that I'm making right here is going to help you line your cupid's bow easier. Now I'm going to use this lipstick by Revlon and it's called Mob It Over and I love this. I hate that it's discontinued. And I'm just going to apply that all over my lips and blend it out with my finger because that's the best tool that we have to our disposal. And then I'm going to just do some finishing touches, apply some more highlight, blend that out with my E40 and apply some more highlight in my inner corner as well. And this look is complete. enjoyed this video don't forget to comment rate and subscribe and share this with a friend who you think might need this and i hope to see you guys in the next one
拜。